Who and what controls your time? In 1987, the International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service was established by the International Astronomical Union and the International Union of Geodesy and Geophysics, and they control the international coordination of time. They are also responsible for keeping an eye on Earth's accurate rotation and adding leap seconds to keep time synchronized with Earth's rotation. Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Today we will be focusing on the topic of divine timing and numbers, the divine expression of time. We will be working on your mental body, which is represented by the air element. Divine timing and numbers can be expressed through your attention and perception of time. It is combined with the way you use the clock and time. Divine timing is a specific vibration, so use the clock to tap into the frequencies of the numbers. You can align with its various frequencies by observing the dynamic between numbers and time and also by adopting daily practices that keep you in tune. Learning to use numbers can take you back to your original blueprint of real time, time in its divine expression. And how do you do that? Watching our episode on divine expression of time tarot here at In Your Element TV is your first step on this journey of expression of time. So remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. Today, I was woken up at 03.03 a.m. To deliver this content here, I was connected to my higher self, and this connection inspires and opens my creative channel to messages and energies that I use and action in the physical world. So what about these times? Most people who wake up at these times in the early morning assume that they are having an Estonia moment. According to YouGov, an international online research data and analytics technology group, half of Britons, 49%, think they do not get enough sleep per night, with this applying more to women, 53%, and men, 45%. So the probability that half of the UK's population is awake at this point in time between 3 and 6 a.m. is great. What if you are not supposed to be asleep at this time? A large number of artists and creative people have delivered their best work of art or their best creations between the hours of 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. You don't have to be an artist to be able to tap into this. You are a creative being, so this is also available to you. Reflecting on those expressions of time, the silly o'clock in the morning, I quickly moved from 0303 to 4 o'clock a.m. And I am at my most creative self. So what is it that I am tapping into in these times in the morning? It feels like there is a journey of time here, an expressive journey of the divine feminine in my case, which is the part of me that is creative. By tuning into the morning's event, I now perceive more clearly what this can represent energetically as I open my mind to expand my awareness of it. Connecting to number three, in the form of time, I tap into a frequency that allows my divine feminine to express freely and fully, to communicate the message in connection with the divine. A great time to write, to express through words, to create music and to write songs or anything similar. Although it feels like I am connecting to the clock timing in my current reality, I feel I am mostly connecting to the divine energy of spirit in the frequency of number three in its highest moment of expression of the present. Does that make sense? Stay with me. Remember, the universe communicates through your spirit and your soul. Your soul is trapped inside your physical body and suddenly finds an open channel to express itself freely, hence feeling and getting creative. With this awareness, you are now able to use the energetic frequency to free yourself from your mind's perception of the clock time 
and dive into the source expression of the numbers contained in the clock. Yet, in a continuous state of observation of the 24-hour clock, my perception of being trapped in the loop of time grows. I can feel these loops, these repetitive patterns in the form of daily chores and tasks. They are my daily routine, the dots on my to-do list, and I have to complete during the day and night. A perpetual cycle of the same behavior on a loop, nothing more than an expression of time on a loop that keeps us trapped in the perpetual cycle. Maybe it is time to free the mind, the body, the soul, the emotions, especially the emotions, as the inner feeling I have is that the clock expresses itself through emotions, the emotions of time. Time, in its current reality form, can hold our emotions and our creative expression is trapped. If we think about how everything is expressed, Around us, we see how we get locked in strong emotions over time, a subject for another day. According to an article written by Droit Volé, a professor at Blaise Pascal University in France, under the influence of emotions, humans can be extremely inaccurate in their time judgment. For example, the passage of time seems to vary depending on whether the subject is in an unpleasant or pleasant context. It drags when being criticized by the boss, but flies by when we discussing with friends. Just going back to the moment when we seem to have missed the clock time, the disappointment of a missed event, such as not being there at someone's wedding, or arriving late at an appointment, being personal, work, or collective. Missing a flight, the train, or the bus. These are just a few examples. This is just one of the subjects and the subject areas we will be developing and discussing here at Inner Element TV. So if you have any conscious ideas, requests, or suggestions, and you feel we are the right community for you, we would love to hear from you. So leave us your feedback or a note in the comments box, or visit our website. For more content, follow us at any of our social media platforms. See you in the vortex. Goodbye.